Okay, we're going to find the interval of convergence for this power series by using the ratio test. So we are going to set this right here to be our a n, and we know that we are going to use the ratio test. So let's put that down by the ratio test. And you know when you are using the ratio test, we have to take the limit as n goes to infinity, right? This is the good business. And now let's look at the expression absolute value of a n plus one times the reciprocal of a n. Okay. For this one, let's go ahead and plug in n plus 1 into this n and that n. We will have the absolute value, and this is going to give us parentheses with n plus 1 inside, and then we have the factorial, and we will have the x minus 4 raised to the n plus 1 power like that. This is the a n. And now, we will multiply by the reciprocal of this. So we do 1 over that. Both of them will go down to the denominator. We will have the n factorial here, and then the x minus 4 to the nth power, just like this. And now let's simplify this a little bit. We can rewrite this as n plus 1 times n factorial. And we can also rewrite this as x minus 4 to the nth power times x minus 4 to the first power, right? And then cancellation time. n factorial, n factorial, x minus 4 to the n, x minus 4 to the n, and now this is going to be still absolute value, and then we have the first, which is the m plus 1, right? And there's no denominator, and we have this right here, times x minus 4, right? So this is what we have, both of them are still technically in the absolute value, and we will be looking at this right here, m plus 1. We take the limit as n goes to infinity. Well, what will happen to n plus 1 when <laughs> n goes to infinity? This right here is just going to go to infinity, isn't it? So let me indicate that this is going to go to infinity. So that's why I change to arrow. And we multiply by absolute value of x minus 4. Okay. Usually I will tell you we have to set this result here to be less than 1, and then we have to try to solve for x, right? However, when you have infinity times x minus 4 like this, this is always going to be infinity, right? Can we ever make this true? Well, this right here, it's only true when x is exactly equal to 4, right? And the reason for this is because if you are talking about the convergence of a power series, you know whenever you are at the center, whenever you are at exactly the center. In this case, the center is 4. If you plug in x is equal to 4 into here, 4 minus 4, it be 0. And then the sum of a bunch of zeros, infinitely many zeros, is still going to be 0. So it's trivial that it's going to converge. In this kind of situation, whenever you end up with infinity times absolute value of x minus whatever plus whatever, this is never going to true unless you pick x is equal to the center, right? In this case, once again, this is how we're going to answer it, right? The radius of convergence, in our case, it's technically equal to zero because we don't move out anywhere at all. So I'll draw you guys a number line. Here is my center, 4, right? Radius convergence is equal to 0. We don't move to anywhere. It's just stay at 4, right? Just stay at 4. And in our case, the interval of convergence, we only have one number that will make the original converge. And that number is the number 4 only. And this is just a set of one number. It's not interval anymore. So I will just put down, this is the set of a number. It's like a brace for that, all right? So it's not really like a interval, but once again, I will just write it down like this, as usual, okay? Radius of convergence is zero, and technically the interval of convergence, the convergence set is just a set of one single number, and that number is the center, which is four, right? And that's it. I know some of you guys may be wondering if I should really say this, only true when x is equal to four. Because if I plug in 4 into here, I get infinity times 0, and that's technically undetermined, right? But the deal is that I, will, I should really say 
this right here only converges converges you should say the original series converges only when x is equal to 4 I think this it will be better for me to say rather than this inequality but anyway this is it that's a special case depends on how you want to rule it out but yeah